I'm so thankful to the Lord for sisters, sisters in Christ, because we can just call on each other anytime we're struggling with something after, of course, after we've called on the Lord, you still need to talk to someone. Um, it's a blessing from God to give us the body of Christ and other ladies that have been married longer or mothers longer and, um, to just be able to openly share your heart, be vulnerable, share your struggles, and have them speak wisdom into your life. And I just did that. And I'm so, I'm just so thankful. God is so good. I would have never known or believed that I could have women in my life the way that I do. It's just so, um, it's so hard to imagine when you grow up in a, you know, in a non-believing home, surrounded by non-believers, people with worldly mentalities that literally, like, hate, (laughs) hate everyone. And so to just truly love another woman and, um, have a real friendship multiple, it's just so only in Christ, you know? So praising the Lord for that and for the wisdom that I just received from a good friend. I've been battling, um, just not delighting and being it's like this little season that I've just recently identified that I've fallen into. It's only been two to three weeks or so, but you know, it just creeps up, it creeps in and then you find yourself and it's like, what happened? How did I get here? And so just not being as lighthearted as I would like to be with my husband, um, not delighting in the way that I would like to be delighting, not, um, enjoying and, um, just having fun with, and it's just me. I'm uptight and um, very um, intentional and everything's so important and I'm serious. And um, I realized, like, I don't like the way I've been acting. I need to, you know, get back to where I was. And um, my goal probably for, like, the last going on two years um, in my marriage has been to just have fun and enjoy my husband Um, to delight in him, to just have fun with him because life is so filled with challenges and um, the burdens of this world are so heavy. Why? Why not, you know, just cherish and enjoy and delight and have fun with the person that you're sharing your life with instead of, you know, just always be bogged down with the burdens of this world, the responsibility of parenting, the the burden, the the heart burden, like longing for your children's salvation and for your children to obey and for your children to respect and all the things that you're trying to train them up to do. If that's all we think about all the time and all we talk about all the time, it's going to be hard to have fun. So my goal for like the last two years has been um, to prayerfully uh, be intentional about just enjoying my husband and being lighthearted because I've always been very lighthearted and carefree and just a goofball and I had kids and I got all serious and I don't know what happened, you know? Um, I guess it's that. It's the burden of their souls and it's so important and some, some of you may not be able to relate to me and some of you may be like, yes, yes, yes. And so anyway, that. So I called my friend and I shared a few things with her and she said some stuff that's just like, yes, yes. One of them is to pray specifically to celebrate our husband's differences. That is so convicting because I celebrate many of his differences. I love so many of the things that he is different than me about, you know, like he is one way, I am another, and I love certain differences that we have. I love it. I'm so thankful that he has, that he contributes this, this, and this, and this, whatever, to our children's lives, and he's this, this, and this, and this way with our children that I'm not, and then there's a little stack over here on the other side of differences that I don't celebrate, and I don't like, and I want to change, and that's so convicting because we're never going to change who they are. That shouldn't be our goal. That shouldn't be, um, you know, what we, what our desire is. Um, and it often goes 
beyond, oh, I wish that was different. It's like, I don't like that. <laughs> and you get mad about it and conflict arises or you have a bad attitude or whatever. And so that was so good just to hear, pray that God will help me celebrate and delight in and be thankful for all of his differences. Um, so that is definitely something that I will be pray intentionally praying for and had to share it with you guys because I know that will encourage you all too. And also um, just the lightheartedness, you know, to get back on track and be lighthearted and fun and enjoy and just cherish and delight and be sweet and tender and kind and all of that. It's so easy to fall into the, oh, I don't have to talk sweet and tender. You're my husband, you know me, whatever. And it's like, no, <laughs> they need you to speak sweetly and tenderly and kindly to them. They need you to have self-control with your mouth and what you say and how you sound and what you look like when you say what you say. All of that matters to even if they're just, even if they're your husband. And when we let our guard down like that, what we're doing is saying, I will be a Christian in front of everybody, but when it's just me and my family, I don't need to be a Christian. I'll let the, my guard down and I'll just say how I feel and act how I want to feel, act how I, act how I feel and say how I feel. And my feelings rule me. So I'm going to just let them lead me right now. That is not being a Christian. So I want to be a Christian all the time, whether I'm only with my husband or only with my family or in front of everybody. Um, Self-control is a fruit of the spirit and love is a fruit of the spirit and a commandment from the Lord. And it is not love to um, speak uh, unkindly and share your opinion and be um, critical and judgmental and um, harsh and irritable and all of these things. That is not loving. So I want to be loving. I want the people around me to feel love and peace and blessing come out of my mouth and um, to want to be around me and um, to Ephesians 4.29, to, that my words would bring grace to those who hear. I want to bring grace to those who hear. So all of that requires love and self-control and me not just blurting out every single little emotion. Um, and it's hard. I am not going to sit here and say, so let's go do it, guys. Not possible. <laughs> we need the Lord. We can't do it alone. So let's do a challenge. Let's specifically pray for these things. Specifically pray that the Lord will help you celebrate your husband's differences and specifically pray for self-control and whatever area it is that you struggle. Mine is my mouth and my face. Um, more my face than my mouth. Like I don't say everything I'm thinking, but heck, you can see it all over my face. So my face, I think my body language and my tone are the two biggest struggles for me and honestly that's worse than the words I feel like you can say the same thing with a nice tone and a different expression and it could be taken completely different than if you add that tone and that face to it and mine are the worst struggles the face and the tone so whatever your struggle is whatever area you need self-control in let's pray and be really intentional to ask God to help us in these things. And he is faithful and kind and loving and he will help us.